Evergreen Cypress Ministry International, ECMI, presents The Higher Life with Dr. Daniel O. Uparna, President of ECMI. ECMI is an interdenominational outreach ministry founded by Dr. and Mrs. Daniel Uparna to pursue God's mandate for global mass evangelism, his glory be the supernatural and revival. Across several cities and in various nations, Dr. Daniel Euphorna's crusades and meetings are characterized by the tangible manifestation of God's glory, an intense teaching and prophetic anointing, and awe inspiring signs and wonders that exalt Jesus. Through cooperation with hundreds of churches from different denominations and in various locations, ECMI Mega Crusades have witnessed mass salvations, the stirring of believers unto revival, and impacting of entire towns. Hello, welcome to the High Life with me, your host, Dr. Daniel Farner. Uh, my privilege it is to bring God's word, God's power, and God's glory to your homes and offices. Now, today I'm going to continue talking about a series I've started for a while now titled God Always Honors Faith. And it's been wonderful discussing the, the certainty of faith in terms of drawing the attention of God and response. From God and uh, we've looked at a number of things uh, let me mention a few things uh, I've said that we have a supernatural life that overcomes the natural world we see that in 1st John 5 4 and one of the ways we work out that supernatural nature supernatural life on the inside of us is via an active work of faith I want you to make note of that word active and I've said no force on earth can stop faith no force on earth can stop faith. That's why Jesus says, faith can move mountains. Wow. And I've also said that God honors faith. He looked at the stories of, you know, four different individuals in the Gospels that interacted with Jesus on the basis of faith. And Jesus did not refuse, nor did he deny their faith. And in the name of Jesus, that is your portion also. Amen. Now, I want to begin to um, continue this, this week uh, by first saying that personal revelation is the basis of great faith. In other words, a personalized insight into the faithfulness of God, into the immutability of His counsel, into the assurance that He is the same yesterday and today and forevermore is the basis for great faith. For example, um, we looked at the, issue, the woman with the issue of blood who was healed. We looked at the woman of Canaan whose daughter was healed. We looked at the man, the crippled man in Luke 5 that they brought and his friends led down through the roof. And we looked at the story of Mary, Mary the mother of Jesus. Now, in all these cases, each one of them had an individual revelation of Jesus of the word of God on the faithfulness of God, which became the basis for their actions of faith. Hallelujah. In other words, the actions of faith are not taken on the basis of wishful thinking. The actions of faith are taken on the basis of the revelation of God's word and his faithfulness. Hallelujah. In other words, our faith is based on his faithfulness. What is the assurance that God will respond to your faith even today? It is the assurance that we have in Psalm 119 verse 19. That his faithfulness endures through all generations. Hallelujah. Now, let's look at some of those instances. In John 2, the basis for the faith of Mary in asking Jesus to turn water to wine is, was simple. The basis for her persistence was simple. She said, 
to the servants. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. In other words, she was saying that once Jesus tells you to do something and you do it, he is bound to abide and to confirm his word. Hallelujah. So that was Mary's revelation. Mary's revelation was that God will honor whatever Jesus says. And so she persisted and said, look, not only will God honor what he says, but if you persist and wait on him, he will also speak that word to you. So even when Jesus was not willing to speak, she told the servants to wait there so that whatever he tells them, they will do it. In other words, if you wait on Jesus, Jesus will speak to you. That's another basis for the faith of Mary. Hallelujah. So if you've been praying and it looks as if, you know, heaven is brass, you're not hearing anything, persist in the place of prayer. Because they that wait upon the Lord will receive from him and they will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles and they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and will not faint. Hallelujah. Now, in, in Mark 5, the woman with the issue of blood, her own revelation was simple. She had heard about what Jesus was doing. But by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, there's a spirit in man, the inspiration of the Almighty gives him understanding. By that inspiration of the Holy Spirit, she knew. And she said, if I touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. Now, that was her own personal revelation. So, she set out in faith to press through the crowd in order to touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Can you see that? She knew by the Spirit, by the revelation of Christ, that if I touch his garment, this sickness must leave me. And she acted out a great faith on the basis of that revelation. Now, for the woman of Canaan, whose daughter was healed, the revelation that brought her that miracle was simple. In Matthew 15, that the crumbs are enough for the dogs under this table. The entirety of her faith, the persistence of her faith, was based on the faithfulness of God because before Jesus spoke about her not being qualified because she was a dog, she persisted because she knew Jesus was faithful. And when Jesus spoke that she was not qualified because he can't give the children's bread to their dogs, she caught the revelation. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. So that was the basis on which her faith was built, on which she acted and she got her results. For the centurion, whose servant lay at home healed. The basis for his own faith was this. Simple. He said, speak a word only and my servant will be made whole. Because I am a man under authority. I say to one, go and he goes. To another, come and he comes. So if I, as a natural man, can exercise that kind of authority, you, as the Lord of all the earth, can exercise much more authority. That was the basis for his faith. And you know what? And Jesus marveled. He said, I have not seen such great faith. No, not in Israel. And you know what? The servant was healed from that moment. Hallelujah. So, great faith, the basis for great faith, the basis for faith is a personal revelation. A personal revelation does not mean that it has to come to you personally. You could be hearing from what another person taught, from another person's story, or from study of the scriptures, or by the instruction of the Spirit. But you know what? You meditate on it, ruminate on it, until it becomes personally pronounced in your mind. Hallelujah. In the same way I know that God honors faith. You see, God does not discriminate on the basis of background. That whoever comes to him on the basis of faith, God honors. And that's why, that's how I run this ministry. That's how 
We've seen the great mighty miracles of all kinds that we have seen. Because I know that God does not discriminate. Anybody that comes to him on the basis of faith, he will accept. He says, he that, be, he that come to God must believe that he is. Hallelujah. Now let me re- show you an example. The next step, you know, uh, from what we read in Ephesians 1. I'll read from verse 15 and verse 17. You know, the next step to get into that place of personalized revelation. Ephesians 1.15 Therefore, I also, Paul was writing to the church in Ephesus. After I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the sins, do not seem to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So, you know, in verse 15, I want you to know that he said, After I, I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, after I heard of your faith, in other words, there were a church that was already working in faith. So Paul was saying that, Look, now that you guys have started in the work of faith, now the way to get to the next level in faith is that I will pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation to come upon you so that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. In other words, as we walk by faith, a deeper revelation of the oppression, by the oppression of the spirit of wisdom and revelation, a deeper understanding by the oppression of that spirit will bring us to the place of a deeper walk of faith. In other words, as our understanding and revelation deepens, our faith also deepens. In other words, there is a correlation between understanding and faith. There is a correlation between revelation and faith. In fact, that's why the book of Hebrews says, By faith, we understand, Hebrews 11.3, that the worlds were framed by the word of God. By faith, we understand. In other words, faith helps us to understand the realm of the spirit. And it's amazing that as we understand the realm of the spirit, it helps our faith to grow and get deeper. Hallelujah. So that's why Paul was praying that prayer for them in the church in Ephesus. And was saying that, look, the next level of your faith is dependent on the next level of revelation. I pray for you this day and say, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom and revelation is at work in you. So that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. So that you begin to know. You begin to know. Like that woman of Canaan. She met obstacles. She came to Jesus. But she met obstacles she did not expect to meet. You know, Jesus did not answer her word. They told her that, you know, you are not our target audience. They told her that we can't take what is belonging to the children to give to you. But you know what? When the spirit of wisdom and revelation opened up upon her. God revealed to her. She saw it. The less, although we are like dogs, the crumbs is enough for this miracle. In the name of Jesus, may you understand what revelation is for the next level of your faith in Jesus' mighty name. So what I want to challenge you today is to pursue revelation through study, meditation, and prayer in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to, you know, briefly say one common denominator in all the above examples of faith was unyielding persistence. All these people were unyieldingly persistent. The woman of Canaan, Mary, the mother of Jesus, the woman with the issue of blood, the crippled man, they were persistent. But you know, some of them had to persist in faith more than others. The woman of Canaan persisted more than Mary, the mother of Jesus, for wine. You know, she had to overcome a, a, a lot more hindrance than the mother of Jesus. And um, all of them persisted more than Peter's mother-in-law, who Jesus just entered their house, laid hands on her, and healed her. So, another person's process and persistence may not be the same as yours in faith. In other words, you may have to press in further than some other people pressed in to get their own miracle. But don't be discouraged. Hallelujah. 
Okay? The woman with the issue of blood touched his garments once and was healed. But the woman of Canaan had to engage Jesus three good times before she got her miracle. So, however long it takes, faith is unyieldingly persistent. Hallelujah. And finally, let me say this to you. The place to persist is the place where it has happened for others. In other words, all these people had Jesus doing miracles. And they came to Jesus and persisted there. Okay? Um, so you can't expect miracles in a place where you are not seeing miracles happen. Don't waste your time. Where you see God walking, that's where to plug in and stand there and say that, Lord, what you have done for other people, you can do for me. Because you know what? Today, God see honors faith. When Jesus healed that woman with the issue of blood, in another village he went, in Mark 6, 56, all the whole village touched his garment and they were whole. So persist. God will honor your faith. Don't go away. I'll come back to pray for you. Watch this next testimony. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts and I will declare your greatness. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. Christy was diagnosed with HIV and placed on antiretroviral medications for about two years until Jesus touched her at an ECMI miracle service, tagged Fiesta of Miracles with Dr. Daniel Euphorna, which held in the town of Dutse, Abuja, Nigeria. Prior to this crusade, the HIV infection had become resistant to the initial first-line drugs she was placed on. Consequently, her doctors changed her drugs to the stronger second-line medications. This fact, coupled with disease progression, affected her health so much that she had to quit her job. This was the state of Chrissy's life until she began attending the miracle services with Dr. Daniel Euphorna. For the first four days of this meeting, Jesus began reaching out to her. On the fifth day, that is Saturday, the 30th of August, 2014, the story of her entire life was rewritten because she encountered Jesus tangibly. God's servant, Dr. Daniel, laid hands on her and she was overcome by the power of the Holy Spirit as fire spread through all her body. Following this encounter, she went to three different laboratories and tested negative to HIV in all three laboratories to the glory of Jesus. Let's hear Christy tell her story. Okay. So I learned to your task. So what happened to you? What I learned to you? I don't know. I find myself outside. And for the test again. When I went for the lab, I told them that I want to run the test because my record is there. So they now ask me, why do I want to run? run the test. I said I just want to run the test. Like after the test, the, the lady just called me and hand over my result without telling me anything. I now called her. I told her, please, can you now explain what happened? She said, she was still looking at me. I said, because my first result was positive. So that means, now you mark negative. That means I'm negative. She was still looking at me. So I don't even know. I was just screaming, just shouting before I now called you. Christy presents her hospital records and anti-retroviral drugs as evidence of her regular attendance at the HIV clinic. Her latest HIV lab result was negative. Glory! Hallelujah! Christy talks to a doctor on the ECMI medical team. came believing God for healing because of I was HIV positive. I was believing God for his healing. So that is why I came for the crusade. To be two years by him. Two years now, since 2012. When I went for my last uh, blood sample, so I had to see the doctor. That was last year, November. He now said that my CD4 now dropped to, it's very low. He didn't tell me the, this, this, so he now changed the drugs to this one. I have to stop the job because of the drug. So because of the weakness, you couldn't go to work anymore? Yes. So on Saturday, last Saturday, when 
the man of God asked every sick, the sick should come outside. So when I came out, when he just touched me, I don't even know what happened. I just felt fire all over me. The next thing I saw myself outside before I now when I regained myself, before I now saw myself talking to you. So I was feeling feeling fire all over me till on Sunday. Jesus did it for Christy. He will also do it for you. Jesus still is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Only believe, release your faith, and connect to his presence today. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts and I will declare your greatness. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. Now for those of you out there um, who are believing God for a miracle or another, a miracle of physical healing, the power of God is available just like you saw in that testimony, to bring you to the place of victory. In the name of Jesus. Um, whatever it is, whatever emergency somebody is having, I see somebody's head being hit, you know, repeatedly. Um, uh, maybe like something going the wrong way. In the name of Jesus, be resolved in the name of Jesus. I pray for a little girl who I see walking lonely, you know, along a path. In the name of Jesus, whatever that the, the lady is missing, Lord, lead her back home in the name of Jesus. Release your angels to lead her back home in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I rebuke sickness in the name of Jesus. Manda haloro do boso hukatalaba. Rebuke sickness. The life of God is exchanged for the operations of the death and, and the principle of death and sickness in the name of Jesus. Yes, move that part of your body. Move your hands. Be healed. You foul devil of infirmity. Take off your hands and get out in the name of Jesus. Be healed completely in the name of Jesus. Release the power of God. Be healed now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to challenge you to take your healing by faith. Begin to take action now because healings and miracles are always received by action. Take action now and be healed in the name of Jesus. Um, send us your testimonies. You see the, test, the screen there, um, there's an address there. Send us your testimonies by SMS or by uh, email. We love to know what God has done for you. Your testimonies glorify God. It inspires other people and it maintains your victory over death and sickness and the enemy. In the name of Jesus. So God bless you, but don't go away. I want to share something with you briefly. If you're watching me today and you're yet to surrender completely to Jesus, I invite you to make Jesus Lord of your life today. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, I surrender myself to you today. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and fire and hunger for more of you. Amen. Take the next step today. Pray and join a Bible-believing church and start reading the Bible. I want to send you an ebook. On your next steps as a new believer, send me an email or SMS to the address on your screen. Then I'll send you that ebook. Jesus loves you, and so do I. It's happening next in Kubwa, Abuja, Nigeria. As ECMI presents Kubwa Mega Crusade with Dr. Daniel Nuforna. Kubwa, get set for a fiesta of miracles. Details to be communicated soon. Jesus is glorified. Evangelism is of foremost importance in God's agenda. There is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents than 99 others that are righteous. Jesus' last major commandment to believers was the great commission to go and make disciples of all nations. Now this great commission demands great obedience. And it's every believer's responsibility. Evangelism is the arrowhead of the Great Commission. Supernatural mass evangelism is one of God's prophetic strategies for evangelism. 
it was prophesied in Daniel 12 verse 3 and officially kick-started in Acts 2 on the day of Pentecost where 3,000 people were saved at once. Over several generations, God has rallied men and women to pursue supernatural mass evangelism. Now, in this generation, that's my assignment. I invite you today to join hearts and resources with me at ECMI in this noble task of mass evangelism. Three things will happen as you partner and give to ECMI today. Number one, heaven will rejoice as you partner to bring sinners to salvation. Number two, you will find inner fulfillment knowing you are doing what God loves and are being fruitful on earth in preparation to stand before God on the last day. Number three, the same power at work in our crusades will work in your finances and family to bring you accelerated harvest. Just like it happened for a dear partner that gave over a million naira to our crusade sacrificially last year and a bad debt she had in millions was paid up within one to three weeks and after that she won a contract for her firm worth billions. And another partner to whom I prophesied a word on international open doors at the beginning of the year has just been hired as a country manager for a US AID funded project and many many other prophecies like that too numerous to mention. Okay, so I want you to take that step of faith today. Set yourself for this same power. Go online to ecmiworldwide.org and register to partner today. All who register to partner to give any amount will receive a soft copy of a partner brochure. There are two kinds. This is a brochure of crusade miracles and this is a brochure of partnership. We'll give you a soft copy of both of them. And then, you know, this second one has miracles, I mean, colorful documentary of miracles and everything that we've seen. Now, to you who can do it, I challenge you to commit to give 50 US dollars or its Naira equivalent, which amounts to about 600 US dollars annually or its Naira equivalent, towards our mass crusade. And I've sent a soft copy of our MP3 message series on supernatural finances in the glory realm, in addition to these um, brochures. Now, to you who can give it, I challenge you also to commit to give 100 US dollars or its equivalent monthly. Um, or that amounts to 1,200 US dollars annually or its direct equivalent. And I will send you a soft copy of this, my powerful book, Faith Capsules, Living a Supernatural Life by Faith, in addition to all the other materials. Now, I challenge you today, do not procrastinate. Start giving to 21st century mass evangelism today. Give your best to God's first, His priority. I want to pray for all our evangelism partners. Everyone taking that step today, I want to pray for you also. Bring out your financial instruments in an act of faith, your credit cards, wallet. Let's just release the supernatural power and favor of God over them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your favor over their finances, over their work, over their sphere. That which is about to die receives life in the name of Jesus. Lord, we release angels to bring and work supernatural financial miracles in the name of Jesus. Be glorified. Lord, let them receive credits, a lot in the name of Jesus. Those monies be outstanding, expected, be paid. Even unexpected money, be paid. And those who are looking for uh, financing facilities, credit facilities, for business, we release it unto them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Giving can be done via our website, ecmiworldwide.org, or via international or local bank transfers to the account details on your screen. Jesus loves you, and so do I. You can follow Dr. Daniel O, Euphorina, and ECMI on Facebook at facebook.com slash ECMI Worldwide or online at www.ecmiworldwide.org on Twitter at Dr. Daniel 04 or at ECMI Worldwide. Watch miracles, teachings, and prophetic clips on YouTube.com slash ECMI Worldwide.
You can also contact us by calling our SMS to plus 234-809-283-1795 or plus 234-908-006671 or 234-908-006671. Zero zero six six seven seven two. Or send us an email at info ecmi worldwide at gmail dot com. Evergreen Cypress Ministry International, healing the nations, revealing His glory.